Hey guys, welcome to our 7th lesson of our certification training for the XMMO300. So Microsoft Office Specialized PowerPoint Associate 2019 certification. And in today's lesson, we will look at last few objectives of the first chapter, which is to manage presentations. And today we'll look at preparing presentations for collaboration. So things like marking it as final, protecting presentations by using passwords, inspecting presentations for issues, add and manage comments, preserve presentation content, and export presentations to other formats. So let's start with the first objective, which is to mark presentations as final. We go to the File tab and click Info, click Protect Presentations, and as you can see we have quite a few options here, and let's mark it as Final, and what it essentially does is it creates a notification for every person that opens the file afterwards that this presentation is final, is complete, is for viewing purposes and should not be edited, but if they want they can still edit it anyway. And as I have clicked this option, as you can see it's not marked as final anymore, okay? The other objective is to protect presentations by using passwords. Let's start with the easier option. So protect presentations, encrypt with password and I am typing 1, 2, 3, 4, like that, w verify 1, 2, 3, 4, and as you can see it's now protected, and when I close the file and open it, I will be required to enter the password to access the file. And if I want to disable this encryption, I just click it again, and delete the password. Simple as that. There is another option to choose a password for your presentation which is more customizable. So we go to Save As, More Options, and here in this window we click Tools, General Options, and now as previously we have set the password to open, but now we have also the option to set passwords separately to open and to modify. So we might set different passwords for those, we might set only the password to modify so that everyone can open, but to change anything in the file they will be required to enter the password. So it's good to be aware of both of these options. I click Cancel and Cancel and let's go back. Next up we have uh -huh, Inspect Presentations for Issues. So we go to the File tab, Info tab, check for issues. There are a few options here, but you will be most likely required to inspect the document. You can see we have a bit of a warning here, so make sure you save your changes because the document inspector might remove the data that can be restored later, so let's click yes. And in the exam setting you will be specifically required to either inspect, inspect all of these options or just, for example, document properties. So let's disable the others and let's choose just document properties like that. And as you can see, the document inspector has, find, has found out that this document contains document properties, author, document server properties, content type information, and we have the option to remove all of the information, and I am not <laughs> doing that now, okay? Let's close, and let's go to the to the another objective, which is to add and manage com comments. There are two options here, so firstly you can go to the Insert tab and click Comments here to add your comment, but I prefer for such purposes to go to the Review tab, you have quite a few options here, and when you have your slide selected you can add the comment to a specific slide, so I'm writing slide 
comment like that and I can also add comment to a specific object in the file so let's now add title comment uh -huh, title comment and as you can see we can go to the previous next we can delete all comments on the slides or all comments in the presentation we can write a reply to these comments so let, like that okay and as you can see it always enters the credentials of the person who has not the credentials just the name and the image maybe of the person who has written the comment and yeah let's just delete all comments in this presentation like that. Another objective is to preserve presentation content and what is meant by that is that sometimes when you add media to your presentation it might excessively enlarge the file which is not good when you want to send the presentation by email for example so for demonstration purposes I have inserted uh, an open source video to this presentation which has over 80 megabytes and we might want to compress it so we go to the file tab info like that now compress media and yeah as you can see the media files in this presentation are are over 84 megabytes compress media you have the option to choose the resolution so for example the 480p is useful when you for example you want to send it just for email so let's compress it to standard now it's in the process of compression perfect as you can see compression complete you saved 74.5 megabytes let's close it and yeah that's how you compress media in your presentation and the last objective is to com to export presentations to other formats so let's click the export tab and you have all the options available here so we can create PDF XPS document we can create a video we can create an animated GIF <laughs> we can create package presentation for CD create handout and change file, tab, file type one interesting thing to notice which not a lot of people know is that you can change the file type to PPSX and what it does is that when you open the presentation it's automatically as a slideshow so when you want to I don't know speed up the f workflow like that that when you open the file it's automatically in the slideshow in the presenter view it might be a useful option for you and of course always when you click save as you have these options available here like that so yeah guys thanks for watching i hope you find it valuable if so smash that like button support the channel for more free presentation certification training materials accessible to all and i will see you in the next video bye